Hello, my lovely Aquarius. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling fantastic. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back, Aquarius. I say this every week and it's always true. Your time is valuable. I know you have things to do and I thank you for your time, but I want to honor it. I want to honor your time. That's what I'm trying to say. I want to honor it. So let's jump straight in, shall we? Let's dive in head first. I'll clear the deck. And Aquarius, as the cover there says, the cover image of this reading, I want to talk about your future love. For the collective watching this video, who are they? Where are you most likely to meet them? And what energies are they bringing with them? Because uh, it will always directly impact you, right? In a positive way or, you know, if we don't like the energies, we can definitely avoid this person. Absolutely. So it's a bit of a heads up for you. Now, bear in mind, this person can be someone that you are admiring as a friend or a colleague from far away. For example, your future love in rare circumstances can be a past person coming back. Or let's see, this could be a brand new person. It is a stranger for now, someone that you have not met at all. So let's see. I'm really excited. That's why I like to shuffle on camera and deal the cards on camera because I like to be surprised myself so let's see for my lovely Aquarius the water bearers please their future love who are they where are you most likely to meet them what energies are they bringing that Aquarius should know about for their highest good and always for their highest good please for my lovely Aquarius please oh thank you All right, here we go, my lovely Aquarius. Let's see the highlighted card that came out for you. It is the High Priestess. Ooh, okay, there's a bit of mystery around this, isn't it? Um, this is probably someone that you don't know. And I have a feeling, I'm inclined to say, maybe this is someone that you haven't met yet. Like, you don't know. I mean, you haven't met them, of course. The High Priestess is the Keeper of Secrets. Perhaps, you know, I always say this, at the Tarot... Um, Kind of shows you what you need to know not often what we want to know but what you need to know so sometimes there's a bit of mystery here i think it's almost like your spirit team aquarius he's always vouching for you he's always around you are never alone perhaps i want the element of surprise as well so if the messages seem a little bit vague and the high priestess is present it's because they don't there are certain elements that they don't want you to know about you know there's the surprise and all that so let's just see that's a very strong pisces card but we have you here. That's why I said this is going to directly impact you in a positive way. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We have four fixed signs here. We have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and you, Aquarius. This is about divine timing. Wow, you are meant to meet this person. Now, mind you, the two major arcanas, and the more majors we see, the quicker things are going to come towards you, right? And the more your spirit team is saying, okay, we're going to handle this for you, okay? We've got to make sure this happens. So this is about destiny. It's about cycles. This is a brand new cycle with this person and there is still so much that you don't know about this person but it's good this is like the card of good luck where everything's falling into place but it's like it's not really good luck this is your destiny this is beautiful oh oh wow excuse me the ten of cups pisces energy just look at this imagery this is beautiful this is like having it all this is your happily ever after Wow, this speaks of beautiful commitment, engagement, marriage here, having children or having a blended family. It speaks of domestic bliss, just feeling emotionally abundant now. I think the wheel is turning in your favor now, Aquarius. We finally have movement. And I know, Aquarius, one thing that you really are very good at is accepting change. You're very adaptable here and you think outside the box. Oh my lord, you're getting really good cards. Okay, so I only go back five cards. Sometimes on rare occasions to get a clearer message, I'll go a bit forward, uh, sorry, a little bit further back. But we have the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. So this is a major card of celebration. This particular three comes with a huge dose of healing, emotional healing as well. I'm really inclined to say, Aquarius, that this could be, and this is where you kind of have to really kind of, let's narrow down who this person is, this could be a friend. This indeed could be a friend because my the three and the six of cups for me are my friendship cards as well. So this could be a friend that has actually indeed been a very good actor or actress and they've kept their emotions so well covered that we might not even have guessed that they feel this way about us. But 
It is a highly intuitive card. Perhaps your intuition has been giving you a little bit of like a, a nudge like this saying, hey, Aquarius, I think that person likes you. You can pick up on energies, Aquarius. So for those that perhaps are inclined to say, yeah, I think that friend likes me, could even be a work colleague, like that you consider a friend. Um, most definitely, I would say keep your eyes and your ears open because they have you kind of, you know, locked in. They have very strong feelings for you. If that's not the case, this is definitely someone that you're going to meet um, during somewhere very social where you get to let your hair down. You know, even if you go to the cafe, the movies, a restaurant, a beautiful bar or a club, it's somewhere where you're going to have fun with your friends and then boom, destiny saying, there you are, you're both going to meet. So I'm seeing those two circumstances. And of course, we have the six of wands. That is uh, Leo energy right there. This is victory. Absolutely. And this person indeed could be someone really creative. The six of wands often represents someone that is super creative here and they make a lot of money from that. That could be an influencer, that could be doing something online as well um, or have an online business. This often represents someone that is like an actor or an actress, a singer, songwriter, um, an author, screenwriter, any type of writer, model. I think, or did I say that? So basically it's anything that's really creative that reaches a global audience. And this person does get a lot of attention. And I feel here that they want to put you on this platform. So this is actually really, really nice. So wow i'm already getting that i'm only getting those two scenarios this is a friend that you have or a, it could be even a work colleague that you consider a friend and they have really deep feelings for you and there is success with this union or it's someone that you meet during an outing like something sociable even if you're invited to like birthday parties engagements weddings i would say go keep your eyes and your ears open though because there is an element of surprise here for you i'll put all the cards down first and let's see what we have we've got the tower Scorpio energy, the Page of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, the Ten of Swords. Wow, that is Gemini energy. I'm really happy to say that the worst of the worst is behind you, but you may be carrying a little bit of that energy with you. Oh, we got the True Card of Love, the Two of Cups, Cancer energy. That is beautiful. What is the beating heart of your reading? Is the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Ooh, okay, we've got the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a passionate new start. See where there is an ending, we have a brand new beginning. Beautiful. In Hopes, Fears and Wishes, we have the Strength card. Leo energy, beautiful. We'll make sure that we can see all the cards in the camera. In the near future, we have the second fastest moving energy is the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Ooh. Oh my God, really? In the outcome, you literally have one of the best cards you've got the world oh my god this will directly impact you because just like the wheel of fortune we have the same four fixed signs taurus leo scorpio and we have aquarius oh my god that's like the world is like the last card of the major arcana and that is your outcome it is considered extremely lucky i, I just looked over you have the three of wands having the three of wands and or the world is considered a really good omen. Like literally it is considered very lucky. Now, for those of you that are traveling, whether for work or for pleasure, whether it's interstate or overseas, that's where you'll most likely meet this person here as well. So depending on your circumstances, I'm already seeing like different ways on how you're going to meet this person. Of course, if you are not traveling, this is just all about forward movement, right? I can see here that your past is a little bit uh, hanging on, you could say. I can already see this. Um, you see, the tower, it's a very volatile card, right? Sometimes it can mean a disaster or, you know, we've got this beautiful, shocking surprise. But I'm actually seeing here that um, you had a really very painful breakup in the past. Yeah. But you, there's something about you that you did not give up, though. I can see it came crashing down. There was a major upheaval here. Perhaps your person, your past person, tried to even apologize for that. But you just saw that they were very emotionally immature no 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 this is about loss ending separation divorce you've taken the final bow you are never going back to an ex no 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 that chapter has closed and what's happening here is the true card of love that you meet someone that mirrors you almost a hundred percent you are both on the same page you get each other you feel comfortable around each other you know that you don't have to change or try and be someone that you know you're not like who wants to do that that's exhausting the beating heart of your reading is showing here that whether you are aware of it or not, you are probably still walking around with a broken heart. 
and I feel like the circumstances are going to shake you up because that's what the tower does. It's either my breakup or my shake up card. It's my shocking card or my shocking surprise card. <laughs> and I feel here they're going to snap you out of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's okay, Aquarius. If you lift your head up and look in another direction for happiness, what happens? We get the Ace of Wands. We get a passionate new start. This is something that, how could I say this? It gets butterflies in your stomach. Yeah, we feel like teenagers again, <laughs> which is beautiful, right? We get excited, we get motivated, we've got that fire in our belly. Look at the stark contrast between these two. The strength card speaks of unconditional love. I think you're actually gonna be shocked that perhaps this person is gonna be so into you, it's like, what's the catch? You're probably gonna hurt me just like here. It's like, no. One thing, Aquarius, I think you already know this is that we do not cut every person with the same sword. Of course, several circumstances in the past make us believe that everyone's the same. It's normal, we're only human, right? But this does, you know, we're looking here to the past. Even the lion is looking to the past here. It's a strength to leave the past behind as it is and approach every new situation now with honey instead of vinegar. And I feel here that meeting this person is really going to bring up your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your courage, your bravery. Why do I say that? Because this is a lot of messages. This is a lot of contacts. It's often known as Cupid's arrow, love messages. And literally it shows incoming, outgoing, incoming, outgoing, incoming messages here. This person could be a foreigner here as well, or they could be just really worldly traveled here. You know, they like the outdoors here, for example. They could be a typical Sagittarius, for example. Sagittarius people love the outdoors. They love camping and all that. They love traveling. And look at this. This is a card saying, you know what, Aquarius, we're gonna let you know this. You have graduated from the worst of the worst. Pat yourself on the back. You have graduated. It's a card of celebration where this chapter now is permanently closed. You don't have to learn those harsh lessons ever again. Now we've got a brand new cycle. We have a brand new beginning for you. And that's the thing with the high priestess. You're not going to see it coming. But I'm telling you right now, this person will eye you out first. If you indeed, if you are certain this is not a friend. Wow. I just looked underneath the deck and I saw the Ace of Cups. Ooh. Okay. That's probably within a month, you know, we, we could definitely have the burst of this brand new love here. I don't know why I keep getting the word Michael. Now, that could be Archangel Michael. I work very closely with Archangel Michael. Um, but sometimes it's really rare that I get some name dropping where I get to hear some names. We've got the sun, my favorite card. You got Michael, Alex. Alex could be a male or a female. Daphne and Phoebe. So, yeah, they might not mean anything to you, but, you know, usually, you know, when I used to do private readings, you know, sometimes I would get these random names. They meant nothing to the person. But, you know, lo and behold, in six months or within a year, those names were very relevant. So, um, yeah, let's see. It's really rare that happens. But when it does, I do have to say it. Three more, two more. Last one. Whoa. All right. Here we go. I'm hearing music playing in the background as well. This is, I feel like this is going to happen where it's somewhere really social. Everyone's having fun. Everyone's partying. Everyone's happy. I'm, I'm just seeing like there's a lot of friends, family around. Yeah. I'm hearing music. So it's, yeah, it's a good time to be Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have the first card of the Major Arcana. So we've got the first and the last card. Wow. This is a brand new cycle. The Fool is all about reclaiming the innocence within your heart, within this love. It's about brand new beginnings. It's taking that leap of faith. If anything, the Fool says, go for it. Again, this does mean travel or some type of movements. And it's like you go off on this adventure, whatever it may be, even if it's just going to the movies or it's going to a birthday party or a wedding or engagement, whatever it is. And that's when we meet this person. It's taking that leap of faith here. Uh, that's a major there for Aries. Oh my God. This is getting creepy in a really good way. We have the first and the last major arcana right next to each other. Everything is pointing to a brand new beginning. And I think you so deserve this because this, you don't want to be in this. You know, we don't want to walk around with a broken heart. I think here in a matter of days, you're just going to say, you know what? Just forget about the past. <laughs> you the queen of wands. Leo, Aries, Sad. Regardless of gender, this person is eyeing you out. You see, the queen and the king of wands are the go-getters. They see something and they will only take action towards what they believe in, what they're passionate about, what they really want. It's like, I'm seeing Aquarius and I really don't want Aquarius to walk away single. <laughs> so they're, they're going to do it. Look what we're moving away from. 
we have the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords. You know what? Congratulations. And we have the Seven of Swords. Like, that's such a huge card of deceit. I think this is why the cards are pushing you to really go for it. Because it seems here that you got your heart severely broken. And more often than not, we actually don't realize that we're still carrying around the remnants. Or we're carrying around the ashes. Or, as I say, the tail end. Like, if this is the situation, you're still kind of at the tip of it. We're holding on to the past. You might have been in a third party situation in the past. You got Libra energy here. Or your person unfortunately broke your heart. And they did a really good job of it. And that's not a compliment here. But this is you. This is strictly Aquarius energy. The Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy. You're moving forward. This again shows travel. And if you are certain that you're not traveling, this is just moving forward. You're moving away from heartbreak, Aquarius. Like, power to you. This is really... I'm actually really admiring your energy here because a lot of people stay stuck where they are. There's no movement, but not you. Not this time. Let's talk about the tower. Excellent. Wow. I like seeing the magician. This is Gemini Virgo energy. I love it. The fact that we have two majors at the head of your reading and at the end, we, st we end with a major as well. That's a pretty powerful combination here. Now, I can already see here, this is the Master Manifester. What does it mean? It's brand new beginnings. And a lot of people don't know this, but the Magician represents, well, who is this person that you're going to meet? More often than not, they represent, this is the one. It's the Magician. This is Mr. or Mrs. Wright. And we are also, I have to say, so we are getting another message. I'm seeing here that you are also the victim because the shadow side of the Magician for your past is already telling me that you were the victim of lying and manipulation. You know, those people that twist conversations around in their favor, even though they did you wrong, but for some reason, you know, you, you get upset, which is normal, but they make it look like you're the bad person. So if you can resonate with that, that's not going to happen anymore. Because if anything, the magician is about brand new beginnings. Let's talk about the page of cups. Oh my God. And the sun shall rise again. You got my favorite card. I have a lot of favorites. So this is by far my number one favorite card. I don't care where it lands. The fact that it appeared in your spread, you cannot lose. In fact, Aquarius, you never lose. You know, either we lose or we get feedback or we lose and we get, you know, we learn from it, right? This is about pure joy, happiness, bliss, blessings. It's also the return of physical health, the return of emotional health here as well. It also represents happy, healthy children for those that do have children. And for those that do want to travel, I'm seeing here that you're going to a, a really hot, sunny place here as well. It's a very literal message there as well. But for those that are traveling, with, and it doesn't matter where you're traveling, it is also very blessed here as well. The sun is all about illumination. You will have your aha moment about this past like, yeah, you know what? Why am I still carrying this around? Because probably your ex is having fun with someone else, but it's not fair that you are still in this state. Let's talk about that Ten of Swords. It's the Hierophant. That's Taurus energy. It's number five. Now, this is about commitment. It's about marriage. So I am seeing here that it was really tough for you. Some of you were in a very committed relationship. Some of you were engaged, even married. And your person, they did the dirty on you. I really don't like your, you know, your past person, you know, your ex. I really don't like their energy. But if anything, the Hierophant is looking forward now. So this is really important for you to even understand for yourself. The imagery, the illustrations are really important here as well. You're looking forward. There is a very big part of you that has not given up on love. It has not given up on perhaps finding the one. And nor should you give up. Let's talk about the Two of Cups is the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the worst of the worst is behind you, Gemini energy. And I'm really sorry about what happened in the past because I really feel here that you truly believe this is the one. I'm going to grow old with this person. And you were really in love, really in love with this person. And here they did. I'm getting, I'm seeing again some manipulation, but you still have that courage here to move forward, to put one foot in front of the other. It doesn't mean it hurts any less, but that really shows to me how strong you are, Aquarius. See, where there's an ending, we have a brand new beginning. Let's talk about the Five of Cups. See? Boy, power to you. We got the strength twice in the same line. Look at that. Well, I've got really strong Leo energy here as well. You might meet a Leo or it could be very strong in their chart. Um, we also got Aries, Sagittarius. That's coming out really strong here, like fire sign. Yeah. No, you've got absolutely, look at this line. This is like a beautiful combination. You've got the strength here. 
you've got that courage to start all over again it's going to turn in your favor the ace of wands is clarified ooh, by the king of cups scorpio energy it could be a fellow pisces and a cancer this is someone here that is very i have to admit they are very emotionally grounded they're very grown up you could say so they they are they match your up to you vibrationally they want the same thing that you do they're all about home about family they may have children here as well that's fine they might have been married in the past they could be a little bit older than you or exactly you know around your age here as well this is someone that you could actually say they've had their own they've had their own past kind of similar similar like yours here as well they probably experienced their own loss endings separation or divorce here as well this person will you could almost say it's like you know a lot of people don't believe it but sometimes yes there is love at first sight or attraction at first sight here wow this this is pretty intense let's talk about the strength card again is a seven of pentacles this is a really nice card it's taurus energy and this is all about planting the seed here do you want to invest in this i think you should this is all about you know planting the seed we're nourishing this connection now and this is long-term investment so this person that is coming into your life like they'll eye you out and they're like i'm gonna go straight to aquarius here yeah they might be in the real estate business or they're probably really good with like investments property investment commercial investments shares or forex trading for example but overall the energy here is is the juice worth the squeeze absolutely this is like someone that wants to invest in you long term this is not someone that is in and out of your life in and out of your life wow and on a on a positive note even more positive the seven of pentacles is such a positive card it actually means yes yes go for it yes this person wants to be with you i mean there's no one more emotionally available than the king of cups here and they'll be taking action let's talk about the eight of wands oh my god really <laughs> i absolutely love this reading i wish i was aquarius right now so we've got these messages this person will be in contact with you this person will be making the first move and what is the message about the two of cups all over again the true cut of love it's falling in love all over again you're going to find that yes you know what you had that grand illusion that you thought your past person was the one and you know what i don't know why you know it's almost like my spirit team is showing me they were pretty much like a snake in the grass that's not your fault though but this person i mean this person's matching you this is your ideal match it's your soulmate past life connection here as well i think you're going to fall in love with this person pretty quickly and vice versa the person's going to fall in love with you it always says that now is not the time to give up on those that we love now is not the time to walk away i'm seeing long-term investment here it's a really important time I, I would say to keep our eyes and our ears open either way it's destined but this person is definitely coming towards you and they're here to stay don't worry about geography for those that meet this person overseas or online do not worry about that yep we're leaving all the past behind the eight of cups power to you you are leaving behind all the pain and all the hurt to start a brand new chapter this is the only time i want to see the eight of cups at the end of like for an outcome here because the eight of cups walks towards the nine of cups their wish fulfillment but this is telling me here you've got the courage and the bravery to start something new but you are leaving behind that which no longer serves you you've outgrown it people situation events even jobs they just don't serve you anymore and you know that this is telling you you know what it's time to ruffle some feathers it's time for change now one more the high priestess is not telling you much isn't it we will get the high priestess there's a high priestess again there's a bit of mystery it's like they put that wall it's like i don't want aquarius to know anymore they want to surprise you so that's the thing you know with um the high priestess it is about mysteries it's about secrets but not in a bad way i call it my quiet card because you don't, don't really have to do much it's like yeah i think they're only allowing me to show you this but when we get the high priestess it's like i really don't want aquarius to know too much they i think they want you to be surprised i want you to enjoy the moment i split the deck we have the nine of swords yeah i'm just i just the only thing i want to say is if you are blaming yourself for anything that happened in the past now is the time to drop that if you're feeling guilty or i wish i never met, met that person in the past no because you went with the best intentions i can see that aquarius 
And one thing that you are is that you're humble, you're noble, you're grounded. You only want the truth, you want fairness. And that person did not provide that to you in the past. If anything, I feel like they just left. Like something just happened, they disappeared. Not this time, Aquarius. This person is like, is unlike anyone you've ever met. So just keep in mind all the scenarios that I have already picked up on how you can meet this person. Um, for those that it's a friend, they're really keeping their emotions to themselves for now. And then they're going to make this move in the near future. Oh, someone is in love with you. You are literally their world. So you've got pure happiness. Aquarius, please, for the next few weeks, just as I said, keep your eyes and your ears open because they're about to reveal everything to you. But this is beautiful. The worst of the worst is behind you. And I'm so proud of you, Aquarius. Wow, beautiful. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Obviously, the High Priestess and the Outcome does want, doesn't want me to reveal any more um, as well. And you know what? I, I totally respect that because we do want to be surprised as well. Yes, there's a lot more they want to reveal. I'm going to do your another reading for you in the next couple of days. I'm interested to see if this is going to continue, if the High Priestess says no more. Um, we have to respect that, of course. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the very best. You know what? The sun, there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's looking magnificent. Much love to you, Aquarius. Take care. Bye.